Hi, this is Ricardo Barajas with the Communications Unit at the Santa Clara Valley Water District. Thank you for joining us for this month's episode of The People Behind Your Water. Recently, we completed an interesting project in the city of Mountain View. It's called the Evelyn Bridge Fish Passage Project, and it was the first safe clean water project to be completed under the priority called Fish Habitat and Passage Improvement. After it was completed, we had an opportunity to visit the site with Melissa Moore, the project manager. Let's take a look. This is the Evelyn Bridge Fish Passage Project, which is located in downtown Mountain View, 8.6 miles downstream of the Stevens Creek Reservoir. And it's a wonderful fisheries and wildlife corridor, and it is hard to believe that it exists here in this urban environment. My name is Melissa Moore. I work for the Santa Clara Valley Water District, and I'm an associate water quality specialist. Okay, this is the Evelyn Bridge Fish Passage Project. We um, improved conditions for spawning steelhead trout here in the Stevens Creek watershed. Steelhead trout are listed under the Endangered Species Act as federally threatened. Uh, Stevens Creek does support uh, an independent run of Central Coast steelhead. This project is so important because it's low in the watershed. Um, it's a passage impediment um, that has prevented during the drought, steelhead from ascending to the higher portions of the watershed for successful spawning and rearing. The local scientists were very concerned that local extirpation, which is local extinction of steelhead from the reservoir, would occur if the drought continued and the passage conditions did not improve. The fish would then continue to spawn downstream and their success would be very, very low. After a detailed fish passage evaluation, we determined that sediment accretion underneath the Evelyn Bridge um, was preventing water from staying within the natural channel. It, all of the, the accretion was forcing the water, the medium and the low flows, through a high flow bypass channel. But the bypass channel was taking all of the flows from the natural channel, leaving this section dry. Fish were unable to ascend through the high flow bypass channel and subsequently we found spawning fish downstream. And why that's so deleterious um, for steelhead is that successful rearing habitat is better upstream of this of the downtown section of Stevens Creek. We changed the channel dimensions by creating a low flow channel. And you can see here we have a, a constructed roughen channel for fish passage underneath the UPPR bridge. We also installed grade control structures and a side weir adjacent to the high flow box culvert which keeps the water into the natural channel during medium and low flows. Our hydraulic model showed us that there was a portion of the project reach that uh, it didn't exceed fish passage velocities but it came fairly close. So every 25 feet to improve passage we installed some boulder clusters to provide refuge for a migrating fish. This project was fast-tracked because of the severity of the passage problem as well as the severity of the drought. Um, if the drought, as I had mentioned, continued, you know, we would have local extirpation. So our management did understand the severity of the problem and reacted by prioritizing this project um, to go fairly quickly. Um, that and the tireless dedication of Stephen Ferrante for the design really brought us um, to a very quick conclusion to the project. The project is a safe clean water um, project and it is the first D4 project to be constructed. We have six million dollars countywide for fish passage projects. This project is a very good example of how uh, partners can come together to you know, achieve a common goal. We had great collaboration from the California Department of Fish and Wildlife. We also had wonderful feedback and help from the National Marine Fisheries Service and um, as well as other community and local partners. To commemorate, 
completion of the Evelyn B Bridge Fish Passage Project. Um, we are going to install an informational bench at this location uh, adjacent to the Stevens Creek Trail uh, with some facts about Steelhead and the life history um, so that folks know that Steelhead are here and that they are important. I really appreciate the fact that the district prioritized an environmental project to be constructed and um, prioritized above all, especially in a drought year when we had um, so many other concerns um, going on with regards to water supply. So prioritizing an environmental project really shows the district's commitment to completion of these types of projects in the future. So that gives you an overview of the project. In January, we celebrated the completion of that project at Mountain View City Hall. There, we had a chance to talk to a number of the major players in this effort about their perspective on the project. Let's hear what they had to say. Congratulations on the completion of the Stevens Creek Evelyn Bridge Fish Passage. This milestone project made possible by the voter approved Safe Clean Water and Natural Flood Protection Program was designed to restore and maintain healthy steelhead trout populations by improving fish passage and habitat where concrete barriers altered Stevens Creek and disrupted migration. I join the community in thanking the district for supporting native species and improving the watershed. Signed, Jerry Hill, Senator 13th District. Thank you. I think what's really exciting about this is that this was a, a major uh, fish passage impediment at this point. And so after doing this project, what we actually provide to the fish is eight miles of access upstream of this location uh, to actually um, um, move forward. And so uh, basically it expands the habitat that's available to the steelhead. Um, as you know, Safe Clean Water has developed uh, several initiatives and priorities it's established. And one of the priorities is to um, develop or enhance riparian habitat and to create open space. And a subset of that are a list of projects, which is uh, fish habitat and um, fish impediment removals as, uh, as a high priority project. Um, as part of Safe Clean Water. And again, as, as was stated, uh, we have allocated about $6 million for projects throughout the whole county to create better habitat situations for steelhead. I think that what this project did do is that we couldn't have gotten it moving if we didn't have the teamwork and collaboration. And this is from all parties, within the district, outside of the district, with our cities, uh, with um, agencies that would have to provide access to their properties for us to do this project, and also with the regulatory agencies who provided, um, uh, at least helped us through the permitting process for this project as well too, so that we could get it done uh, as quickly as we did. And I think overall, um, the planning and construction, nine months for planning and constructing and getting this complete. So this has been a record time for us. But again, um, because of the fact that we're talking about uh, steelhead expir uh, expiration or you know, basically uh, we really needed to do this project to ensure continuity of the steelhead population in Stevens Creek. We have learned a lot and most of all, we've developed good relationships and trust with the regulatory agencies who can then help us along with uh, moving these other projects and fast tracking those as well. We came in under budget and getting this project done and that um, it really shows our commitment to the community that uh, we have flood protection, we have um, water uh, supply that we are committed to, but we're also committed to habitat restoration in this area. Steelhead are an endangered species that live here in Santa Clara County in Silicon Valley. Here we are in the heart of Silicon Valley and the steelhead in many ways are like kind of like the canary in the coal mine. You know they are a sensitive species but yet they've evolved to to um, to, to live here and to persist here and we just want to make sure that that they get to do that. You know, it's really important that as a society we balance environmental protection and economic prosperity. And I think Mountain View is a, sort of a seat of economic prosperity. And so it's really important that we do these things to protect our environment as well. Hi, my name is Kathy Sutherland and I'm here as the chair for the Safe Clean Water 
Independent Monitoring Committee, and I couldn't be more pleased and proud to be here. This is such an exciting project, and to have it move forward at such speed and with everybody's cooperation is a great testament to the great work done by the Water District. The voters are very clear with the passage of the Safe Clean Water that the Santa Clara Valley supports the environmental work done with the Water District and that our natural habitat, whether it's fish in the streams or it's protecting our urban, uh, our hillsides from growth, these are values that are reflected in our community and the voters spoke with their votes and so it's great when everybody is all on the same page and you have multiple agencies working to just keep this an amazing area, keep us with the ability to connect directly with nature. If we don't remove the barriers, the fish are going to disappear, and once they're gone, you can't get them back. I'm Mondi Larise, and uh, I represent the International Federation of Fly Fishers and the Guadalupe Coyote Resource Conservation District. We, we had problems year after year with fish passing that point. There is a fish ladder there that was built a long time ago, but debris uh, blocks it in many years, and, you know, I'd say the majority of the years, there'd be a blockage there. Uh, we would try to get uh, stream maintenance to, to clean it up so that, that in time for the fish to make it. But often in years uh, where it was blocked, it was during uh, this part of the season when the agencies like Fish and Game and uh, NOAA Fisheries prohibit any work in the creek. So we're, you know, there wasn't much that could be done. So this was an important project. Uh, we, what, when it really became uh, known how important was in 2013 when uh, severe blockage prevented fish from getting above that point and we had fish uh, rather than return to the bay uh, some of them decided to just spawn wherever they could which they often do and they spawned uh, between the Central Avenue fish ladder and the Evelyn fish ladder. So in that space in between, they found enough habitat. We had six spreads, as I recall. Assuming that, assuming that fish continue to be able to pass um, the other obstacles below that point, we'll get a lot more fish into the upper watershed. And that would be very good because it, right now, the, the stock of steelhead in Stevens Creek is very low. It's very low because of the low water years uh, as well as the blockages. So uh, it's, it's important that we uh, improve all of, all of the blockages we can. I used to, I used to be, uh, used to have a job where I made a lot of money and I gave a lot of money to uh, organizations that worked on fish issues. And then when I retired, uh, I decided, well, I wasn't, didn't, wasn't gonna have that kind of money anymore to, to donate, so I would donate my time. So in the 90s, late 90s, I started volunteering with a lot of organizations that were working with the Water District. And back then we had something called the WMI, Watershed Management Initiative. So I was working in that venue. And I just made it my heart's desire to get Steelhead back into Stevens Creek. And uh, so I've been doing that all that time. And I've had some successes, but you know I haven't seen a total return of the Steelhead yet. And that's what I'm hoping to see at some point. So that's it for this month's People Behind Your Water. As always, you can connect with us via Facebook, Twitter, or sign up for our electronic newsletter. Thanks again for watching. See you next time.